Hello everybody and welcome to Talking to My Dad by Hatembu. I don't know what this is and we're gonna check it out, so yeah. Full screen? Alright, whatever. Don't need full screen. Gives the authentic authenticity of the experience. Is that a cutscene or do I click? Oh. My name. Uh it's like a fake name. Or no, I guess not. Uh, I feel weird typing like this. Feels like I'm playing Undertale. your friend's dad the other day. What's his name? Ahmed. Okay, click. Ahmed? No, it's not that. Then who? You know, your friend from high school. You know who I'm talking about. Kareem? Are you talking about Kareem? No, I don't think so. He's the one with... Dad to work as a radiologist. I went to his office once. Mandy? Maybe. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's him. If you say so. What about him? Oh, um, I met his dad the other day. And he asked about you. Said we were going to college. I don't I don't know what I really don't know I don't really know get your studying. So I said you're doing computer programming. It's interactive media, Dad. Interactive what? Interactive media. Like a mix of... It's like a mix between computer science and visual arts. Oh. So how is that different from what I said? Uh... It's not just... It's not just programming. It's also art stuff. Like, I also design games and experiences. It's really broad. So you're saying you're a graphic designer? Neverek? Yeah. I could have just said that. Do you want the radio on? Uh, no thank you. Alright. So, you see your sister's honeymoon pictures? Yeah. They look nice, don't they? Oh, this is... You know, the only one of the... Oh, it's just so sensitive. This is the genuine experience. You know, you're the only one of the siblings who isn't married yet. Soon? Yes, yeah, haha. -ha. Soon. Not too soon, though. You're still our baby boy. Anyways, how are your friend Jess doing? She's good. And, and what? Just that? We're going to be roommates. She's going to be our roommate next to Mexico in New York. Oh. What? Uh oh. Nothing, nothing. You're very focused, are you? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Friends are important. Say. Being careful, right? Careful? What do you mean careful? Well, you know. No, I don't know. You know what a condom is? <laughs> I like oh my god, is written. Yes. Yes, Dad, I know what a condom is. Can we please stop talking about this? I'm being serious. Condoms are important. You always need to wear one. It's not just about getting someone pregnant. It's also STD. It's very dangerous. Even if there's no penetration, just for, even just for a brush stroke. Do you know what a brush stroke? Uh, no. No, what is that? When your penis brushes against the vagina, you should still wear a condom. Do you have condoms? Do you buy some? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, Dad, I'm fine. I have condoms. I don't need to buy them. Oh, okay, are you sure? Yes, extremely mature, 100%. Fine, fine. I just want to make sure. I know you're a very mature boy. I know you don't need to tell me to tell you this, but I'm just making sure. I'm your father. This is normal. We talk about this. You know that, right? Yes, Dad, I know. You know that we care a lot, you know that we care a lot about you, right? Your mom, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts and uncles and grandpa. We all love you very much, and we miss you very much. Do you miss us? Did you miss us? Do you miss us too when you go to college? Yes, I do. Yes, Dad, of course I do. So then, 
Did we do something wrong? Did we ever do something wrong again? Uh, no. You didn't do anything. So what? What is it? Why do you never answer our calls? Sometimes we could go weeks without hearing you for weeks. You know, that, that's not normal, right? Your mom and I, we worry. We don't know if you're okay, if you're sick. We don't know if you're dead or alive. Do you not care about us? Is this the way you feel? I care about you. Of course I do. But then what? Should we just call your friend and send another case? Uh, please don't do that. You know I hate when you do that. And and you think, what, that I enjoy it? Keep giving us reasons to. What else are we supposed to do? Well, you stuck to us. Oh, well, come on. Why are you giving me three shitty options? That's like... It's difficult to explain. I don't know. It's difficult to explain. Hey, explain it. We have time. Well, I'm very busy. I'm really busy. I have classes and friends and stuff. Come on. No one is that busy. You're telling me that you're constantly doing something? That you don't even have a small moment to spare? Just to send a quick text saying you're okay? Why can't you at least do that? Never act. Talk to us more often. Can you try? Uh, okay. Okay, sure, whatever. You promise that you won't ignore calls anymore? Can you promise to start calling us more often to go back once every few days? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. It's giving me a lot of shitty options here. It's like, am I supposed to be an asshole? Are you unhappy? I mean, are you still depressed? I'm okay. I'm fine. Really. what you told me on the phone last month. So I guess this isn't supposed to be a universal experience. It's about to be an experience about a specific individual and we're just, I guess, controlling them. It's like our options aren't fully universal what I would truly say. Well, you told me on the phone. I guess you got better? Yeah, I guess. You know, when I went to study in France, it was nothing very sad for a while. Your brother, too, he kept telling us how much he wanted to come home. What I'm saying is, you can always come back home if you want. You can take some time off. We love you. We'd be very happy if you were here. That's, there's your family and your friends and your home. What? Why do I get the shittiest options in the world? Just go silent. I'm just saying that if you were to stay here, Dad, it's not college. It's not college. I like college. So what is it? Do you talk to your coach about it? My coach? You know, the man you told us about. Well, he's my therapist, not a coach. You know what I meant. So, what do you talk to him about? I guess I'm supposed to be Hatembo, whoever this person is, because I guess it says talking to my dad, not your dad. What do you talk to him about? Uh. Okay, have it your way. But I think at least you should try seeing someone from here. Well, why? Well, your therapist, he's what, American? Yeah. I think that someone from here would better understand you than some Westerner. Their mind is from here, they're not like you. So that basically proves that we're not. Uh, this is not a universal experience. Well, there's that coach that your sister was seeing. I'll consider it. Well, that's good. Do you want me to call them? I can schedule. I said I'll consider it. Do you still take your pills? Uh, yeah. Did your doctor tell you that you need them? No. No, Dad, I just went to the office and... Oh, come on. No, Dad, I just went to the office asking if this is their strongest drugs. I didn't mean to... I'm kidding. Have you talked about lowering your... Have you talked to him about lowering this? Is? Her. No, I haven't. And do you have any side effects? I get nauseous sometimes. See, this is what I'm telling you. It's it's normal, Dad. It's a process. Of course, it's not going to be perfect day from perfect from day one. But I really want to get better. This is important for me. It's not day one anymore. It's been month. I know, Dad. I know. You know, it, it would. You know, it wouldn't be good if you started. If you start depending on them, it's going to be very hard when you stop taking them. Why would I stop taking them? Well, you can't keep taking them forever. And if you ask me, you don't even need to take them. And you should have told us this before you started taking them. If you just talk to us more. So, yeah, okay. Okay, I'll talk to my doctor. Are you saying that too? Oh my god. 
there's no way out with you. Even, even when I agree with you, you keep bringing up some of the stuff over and over. Because I know you're just agreeing to shut me up. Yeah, well, like I, I'm just here. Maybe you should take it. Oh, come on, I didn't even get to chew that. He just, okay, well, whatever, it's not me. Maybe you could try being honest with me. Okay, okay, you know what, I'll be honest. I'll tell you what's wrong with me. I'll tell you why I'm so depressed all the time. And why you've never understood me. Never act. Dad, please. Just let me talk. Okay. Dad. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> oh, a game by Hot Invention. It just ends. Oh, nice. Can I replay the game? So what happens if I choose other things? I'm curious. Uh, let's, I guess we're, we're, we now know who we are, so. This is honeymoon tree. Okay, this is just the same game. This is not that much of a branching narrative. All right, well, that was fun, yeah. I think I'm going to call it there. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.